course, any team, when you're with a group of people for more than one day a week, as in like at school even, your classmates, you get pretty close to them. And since I'm with the Brave Ets a couple days a week for a couple hours at a time, and on weekends a lot of the time, and at games, I get really, really close to them. And we've been together for four years now, me and a couple other Brave Ets, and it's just a bond that is really special, and I'm never going to forget it, no matter how long time passes. My team is special because we all share a bond that no one else can replace or no one else can feel unless you're a part of the team. Um, we all get along really well. Yeah, we have our fights and our arguments, but we all love each other, and it's not just a friendship, it's a sisterhood. <laughs> because I am captain of our, the Brave Vet team this year. Um, I would say that I kind of watch over everybody, make sure everybody's on their P's and Q's at all time, whether we're in uniform or not. Um, a lot of people come to me in confidence to tell me things they may be nervous about, worried about. So I take my captain job or role on the team very seriously as kind of like a mom inspiration type of thing to all the other teammates on the team. I think the part I play on the team, I'm the mommy of the team because I do um, hair and makeup for the majority of the girls. They all ask me, and they all ask me to get there earlier. So normally before games, I get there about 30 to 45 minutes earlier just to do their hair and makeup. <laughs> just how close of a family we are because although I have a family of course and I have my family at school and my classmates I've never really had such a close-knit bond with a group of girls I've never really had that outside of Brave Ed's. and so it's really something to remember and something that I can hopefully pass on to another group of girls when I grow up in life. Something I'll always remember about being a Brave Ed is just how fun it is to be in front of your entire school even if you're under pressure, it's a feeling that not many people experience, constantly being judged all the time, but trying to come out on the other side, on the positive side, and I think that's a challenge that my team and I really take seriously. Well, our, my junior year, um, we actually did a pep rally. Instead of being girls, we dressed up as boys, and we were the Backstreet Boys. And that was really fun. That was actually the pep rally I was most nervous for. I'm not sure why, because we were dressed up as boys, but it was probably the funniest thing because no one actually knew we were Brave Vets until they announced that we were actually Brave Vets dressed up. Well, at camp, we go to a summer camp every year, and we are there for three days to learn dances. But in between practices and rehearsals, we um, go back to our dorm room, and we all get to spend time together. That's where the bond is formed. Um, but I, I can't tell you exactly what happened because we all laugh at everything, but there was a girl who peed her pants laughing so hard and uh, didn't really have any other clothes to change into. So that was kind of funny, I guess you could say. <laughs> My teammates are all really encouraging of each other and really sweet and funny. And no one's like rude to each other. We try to encourage each other in positive ways and like always root for one another. My teammates are crazy but awesome at the same time. And one thing they can always do is brighten up my day at least and always make me laugh with their crazy personalities, but they're also very talented and I love them a lot. They're my favorite part. working women that I've ever met. She is so dedicated not only to her job but also to Brave Vets. Um, and she pushes you. She's strict. She's not just your normal, typical, let it go type coach. No, she she kicks your butt in gear and makes sure that she has the best team around and 
she pushes you um, to the ability that she knows that you have. And I absolutely adore her for that because she's made me the person I am today. Um, my coach, Marla Sage, has been my dance teacher since I was two years old. Um, she's an inspiration to me, not only to me, but also to my teammates. She's been coaching Brave Vets for 23 years and she does not get paid anything for it. So she really just inspires me to work hard and give everything my best and that's a lot of the stuff that I've learned from Brave Vets has fallen into like school and into working during the summer and my job, also into the relationships I have with other people. definitely do it because we accept anyone. It doesn't matter if you've ever danced before or not. It's just fun. Brave Vets is more than just a team. It's more of like a sister's kind of relationship and although like most of us start off as strangers, we like finish as like a family. <laughs> Vets is to finish out my senior year strong and then hopefully with all the skills I learned with Brave Vets I can successfully make a college dance team which most senior Brave Vets do so that's my goal. Um, my future in Brave Vets, well next year is my last year so I'm kind of sad <laughs> but excited because seniors get a bigger role I guess. <laughs> My coach, every practice, I know everybody's coach probably says this, but she says, okay, we're doing it until you guys give 110% effort. And it's really something important. Like, I hear it every day, so it's not something I think about. But now that I think about it, 110% effort is something you should give every day, everything you do. It's not just something you, oh, I'll just give 50% this time because I'm tired. She really makes us understand and believe that it's important to give your all in everything you do. Not just that one dance we're doing that night, but in everything. And I think that's something I've learned from being on Brave Vets. So something inspirational that um, I would say Brave Vets has taught to me or taught to our whole team is that we're all there for the same passion to dance, but we're all there for one goal. So when we dance, we move as a team. We dance as a team. Our steps are as a team. We're not individually doing the dance. We do it together towards a common goal, which is either supporting our Braves in a basketball game, a football game, or dancing at a competition during the summer, or at a competition another school would host. But I would say the most inspirational thing is that we do everything together. We may have our differences, but in the end, we dance as a team. Wiggle, 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 wi